All right, guys, I figured I'd make a real quick short video to, to show you how to correct some issues with, uh, uh, maybe you've purchased a Chinese wiring harness, specifically the LS1 T56 or uh, non-electric auto. Um, I've had a couple issues with uh, these harnesses uh, not running the engine correctly or it not running at all. Uh, maybe you've got one of these and you've been installed on your car and you can't figure out what's going on and you're uh, troubleshooting and you can't quite figure it out. I'll show you what you need to do to correct uh, this to hopefully get you up and running and maybe shed some light on it. So, so here, I have, uh, here we go. So here I have right here, uh, like I said, a LS1 T56 uh, or non-electric auto uh, transmission wiring harness uh, as it's advertised on eBay. These harnesses have gotten really cheap and so it makes it hard to uh, for somebody to, to pass up on something like that because you're like whole entire brand new harness for 300 bucks kind of hard to beat so what i'll do right here is uh show you one of the two problems that i found with these things to keep you from running uh first off we got the accessory wires here this is all where you'll get uh your you know tack speed signal and all that stuff specifically right here the white wire is the tack signal wire so this wire right here if you have 12 volts on it your harness is likely uh, like this one and and kind of shorted to power so on the fuse box you'll see this white wire here and if you follow it down into the harness you'll come to this place right here where all these wires are actually uh, pinched together similar to this right here. Now on this particular tack wire, I've already cut it off. But to correct this issue, what you have to do is take and follow your white wire from pin 10 up to this block. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut it off the back of there to separate it. And then what you're gonna do is follow this white wire down to your accessory connector, which is the actual tack signal. You're gonna follow it down and you're gonna cut it off from the back of this. And then once those two wires are separated from that guy, what you wanna do is you strip them and then go ahead and solder it, which I've already done here. So I got there and I got my heat shrink to go on there. Once you've done that, you can actually heat shrink over this and then your tack signal will actually work and you won't be back feeding 12 volts back to the PCM tack signal. So if you have one of these and you've, let's say you did get it fired up and you hooked up your tack signal and your tack is not working at all, this is the reason why. Um, the second issue is with the power from the fuse block here being shorted to the map sensor plug. So on your map sensor signal wire, uh, sorry, let me dig it up here. Okay, here we are. Okay. So here we are right here. You got your map sensor. See that center pin there is the actual signal. So <laughs> this guy right here and that guy is actually shorted. So I'll do here. What you want to do is take your meter, you want to put it on continuity check and uh, that way you can actually hear whenever you know you got continuity between two wires if you see here I'll select center signal wire and I'm going to touch it here on the fuse box so as you see right there that's shorted so what that'll do is that instantly when you put 12 volts in on that signal wire it cooks the map sensor. So what happens is, is your engine doesn't understand how much vacuum, and of course you know that's one of the things that's used to determine fueling for your engine. And so the problem lies if you strip back the harness right here. So this powers the reverse lockout on the T56. And so the T56 reverse lockout wire is actually what's shorted 
to that. So what we want to do is separate those two um, signals. So in order to determine what wire goes where, what you need to do is we just need to cut this union out. And then ohm out the wires to determine what goes where. So as you can see, you're going to end up with the wires there. And what we're going to do is we're going to strip these ends here so we can determine what's what. With our meter, we will take our one lead there, take our map sensor and figure out which one's our map sensor wire. So we got no continuity there, so it's probably going to be the reverse lockout. Okay, so this, this wire here is the reverse lockout, and then this one right here should be our map sensor signal. So once we determine which one's which, you take and trace back this side. Of course, the one going to the PCM connector is going to be the map sensor signal. And then the one going up to the fuse block is going to be your reverse lockout. So from there, what we will do is get some solder and heat shrink here. because there's a so when you cut that out you don't have much lead so it is possible to do this without adding wire but if if it's just too difficult for you you don't have a lot of experience soldering wires and stuff like that you can just take and you could even do a butt connector I just personally don't like to have any potential places where a integrity of a crimp wire can uh, cause an issue have a problem that kind of that sort of thing so So now let's make sure that everything is okay. Just double check my connections with the ohm meter here. So correct. And this is our map sensor. Go there. Now what we can do is pull our 
if you shrink over. So that's, that's that. So after you do that, if you have made the mistake of installing this, this in your vehicle already, and which if you determine that your harness is already like this, then you will have to replace your map sensor once you do this because on every instance that I've seen, once you put 12 volts on the map sensor uh, through the signal wire, it, it cooks it. And so uh, even if you fix this, you still will remain to have issues because your map sensor is going to read barometric pressure all the time. And so uh, replace your map sensor after you do these repairs and uh, should be good to go. So I hope this helps somebody out and uh, helps you get your project going.